Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of NPC Plays Dad Games. Today we're going to be uh, doing episode 3 of my Robert Cross career mode. Um, I'm just going to jump straight over to the Pat Wilson's campaign generator where we can get things started. Robert Cross. Here we see our roster of things. I don't know what Ferdinand is still doing up there. I don't know. Maybe I guess we'll see if he actually flies any missions because if I remember right, he, he died last time. I don't know, maybe I'll go back and review the footage, but I'm pretty sure he died. So, whatever, we'll, we'll just, I guess we'll just, we'll play along. Maybe he's immortal, who knows. We have yours truly, Robert Cross, with two missions, two kills. Respectable. At least I'm alive. That's a, that's a bonus, at least. A couple of my uh, uh, friends with their call signs have been in here. So far, only ones that have flown missions, actually all of them have flown missions. The only one with kills, though, would be good old Darabu. He'd be proud of that, actually. I told him about that, in fact, and he uh, he was mentioning to me that he's pretty sure that the AI pilots would have better skills than he would. But I think that's, you know, probably fairly true for most people who play, play simulators. Uh, I went into my uh, character himself here and changed my skin to be my my own custom one. So every time now it uh, plays, it'll play or load in with my my uh, proper skin. Finish reading. Let's just generate us a mission and get this boat underway. Mission. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, awesome. We're might even be a sh pretty short record today. Let me just zoom in here. This is a really wonky zoom in here for the thing. It's just an intercept mission over the field. Looks like we're basically scrambling. Works for me. Okay. Uh, actually, a little excited. It's gonna be pretty cool. Pilot selection. What do we got? All right. Awesome. B and Darabu are gonna be coming with us. <laughs> B is going to be the, the the commanding officer. She'll uh, she'll probably be a little happy about that. She's the highest rank out of the two of us, and we'll see if Darabu can keep his score up, or hell, if I can keep my score up. We'll see. Maybe B will even get a kill. She'd be happy with that. Maybe. Uh, let's go accept mission, and then we'll go back to campaign, and we'll uh, go over to rise of flight career mode. Scramble. And go. Okay, here we go. Looking at the this looks, I guess, a little bit, it's a bit kind of a bit strange. It looks like, huh? That's showing a little bit wonky. Yeah, sure. Hope this is actually the same mission. It shows my same plane when I jump out of hangar. So, hmm, I guess. Oh well. S still a scramble, so I, I think this is this is the mission that we were assigned. I guess we'll see once we actually Okay, so unpause the game. Let's see. View back. Set to truck IR. Make sure mixture is too full. Start engine. I, I throttle forward a little bit. I've, I've had a little bit of trouble sometimes starting the engine on the Newport, and I find that throttling forward a little smidge tends to help it out. There we go. Oh man, it stalled on me. Try again. Throttle forward a little bit. So it looks like there's only two fighters, two other planes over there, which leads me to believe that I'm flying the right mission. Unless there's nope, there's no planes on that side of me. Oh boy, please start. Come on. This is just getting silly. I had this happen the first episode too. Mixture's full. Let's crank this sucker because we need to take off like him now. Man. 
Man, a little bit of tipping off this. Off the takeoff there. But we're okay. Flipping the wing on the ground would have been embarrassing. Now I just gotta catch up with my squad. Wait for me, guys. The wind seems to be blowing pretty tough. They were pretty strong today. Oh boy. Let's actually keep an eye on where we're going. Alright squad, where'd you go? I was... Well, not that far behind. Oh, they're up there. Never mind. Okay. So, at least they're close-ish. Do everything I can to stay with them this time around. Even if that means following my map. Although, it's not like they're gonna be this very far to go. Seems to be an intercept mission, which of course means that the action is going to be happening good and close. So they're turning, which means that I will do the same. I'm trying to stay in a gentle climb as well, so that I can actually uh, hopefully reach their height and catch up with them. There's B out front leading the charge. With an intercept mission being this close, we might even be able to do a, uh, an episode today without having to do any cuts. That'd be kind of cool. Never really done that before. So right now, it looks like we are headed south, I believe. Let me just... Uh, keep my head on a bit of a swivel here because this being a scramble mission means that there's probably some enemies close by. Oh, there goes B into a steep turn. Towards what though? Looks like she's just turning around. I'm gonna do the same. Make sure I don't I don't want to run into anybody. So I'm gonna continue following. Let's get rid of the map here. We don't need it. Not right now, anyway. Pull back on my throttle a little bit. I seem to be catching up to B. Oh no, she's banking to the side. Saw a plane movement over there. That looks to be a Newport, probably a Deru or a Darabu. That's at least good. You can see that B's got the, the streamer up there. Nice. Yeah, that is Darabu. He's Oh, be cutting off to the side. We uh, we have some sweet sweet action, right? Right? No. Okay. Looks like our job is just to patrol this line back and forth until something comes our way. Not super in grand build exciting,ness, but. Like, things are just on the cusp of possibly action, not really action, that I don't really want to cut. I'm following after her, but I don't see anything down there. She seems to be in a dive, though. How are we doing for RPM? We're fine. The, uh... Newport can actually take quite a lot as far as its engines can... or er, engine revs is concerned. From what I've read, it's 
sooner to break itself apart due to airframe failure than it is to actually rev its engine. Which is nice, because I, you know, hate having to worry about that kind of stuff. It's just one thing I don't really need to keep in mind, although, of course, when I jump into a super steep dive, I'm still going to watch it. Don't want to don't wanna get too crazy. I'm feeling a little more comfortable in the new port now, though. Uh, the winds are fairly high today, so if we get into a dogfight, that'll probably mess things up. But, you know, the disadvantage it puts on me also gets put on my enemy, so... Can't really complain too much about that. Oh, the sun, why are you hurting me? I thought you were my friend. You helped me with my navigation so many times. The sun is usually to the south, which helps. Usually. I think it actually depends on the time of day that I, uh, I actually get assigned my mission. There you are. Pop up a bit. Give her time to get ahead of me as well as straighten myself out. Hope that Darabu doesn't run into me. I don't think so. I don't think he will though. These are pretty far ways back there. So we seem to be gaining quite a lot of altitude as well as going on a different path than we did before, which is Mildly strange, I suppose. B doesn't seem to be making a beeline for anything, so it doesn't seem like she's got any enemies in her sights and is ready to hunt them down. I guess we'll see in a moment if she goes into some kind of steep turn or dive and maybe she sees something, but so far I'm not seeing anything. Who knows, maybe it'll either be some E3s or possibly some uh, two-seaters would be kind of nice. Oh, jeez, man, look at you, Darabu, overtaking me. What a jerk. Alright, I'm going to blip it. Stay behind, which I suppose I actually probably should stay behind Darabu because that's actually the actual order of the way the squadron is flying, so fine. Hmm. Well, I think that as much as I was hoping I wouldn't have to, I'm going to cut the video here and I'll bring you guys back when something more entertaining is happening. See everyone in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to bring everyone back in here. I think that the command thinks that they're very funny, playing a little joke on us like this. Sending us up in the air to literally chase our own shadows, or probably more accurately, our own tails, and literally shoot at nothing at all. There is nothing up here, and... Right now, we're just kind of flying in formation, doing circles around our airbase. Wherever the heck it is. It's around here someplace. It's down there, yeah. And I th think that the AI is prepping to land, although they are kind of slow at it. You know, I don't think they ever actually do it by the looks of things. They just kind of flap their arms about, go around in circles for forever by the looks of it. I haven't actually seen them ever land. So if this continues, I'm just gonna be like, to heck with these guys and just go land myself. Because there's literally nothing going on. No enemies to fight. We're just kind of flying in circles. I suppose 
Could have been a practice drill? I'll, I'll give command the benefit of the doubt and say a practice drill. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm breaking formation here and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go and I'm gonna land. So I'm gonna pop this flare here to indicate that I have intentions to land. Going to just dive down and fly as close to our air base as possible and find out. That's our flare, yay! Find out what direction the wind is going. And of course, if we can find out what direction the wind is going, then I will know what direction I need to land. Okay. Okay, so the wind is blowing, by the looks of it, that's north, I think. I'm going with the wind currently, so I just need to buzz right over top of those hangars. And I should be able to land nicely. But yeah, the, you saw that windsock, it was pointed straight, which means that it's actually... <laughs> it's, uh, it's blowing really hard today. So I'm going to turn. We're flying at a crosswind here. You can see it's starting to mess with the plane. Oh boy. And as I turn into the wind, it'll be a little easier to fly. Just put her down. Getting a wee bit close to that there hangar. taxi the thing. Looks like I biffed it a little bit and hurt my wing, but oh well. Sorry to the mechanics. It was windy. What do you guys want from me? Do a bit of taxiing here. Just because I think it's funny. Get an external view and see what that looks like. First person. Just kind of keeping the throttle up a little bit while playing with the blip switch in order to taxi. And I think we'll stop it here. Engine off. Throttle back. There's our two friends. What the heck you guys still doing? Flying in circles. Well, I guess that was practice. We'll go with practice. We're not really in a position to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To be questioning commands, orders. I'm not even gonna bother covering my uh, score sheet for this one because I got a whole whopping nothing, 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 and more nothing. Proceed. Close that puppy down. And then I should I can go back to Pat Wilson's campaign generator. And then combat report. I shot down a whopping seven vic no zero victories. <laughs> the seventeenth of Ju er, January. Submit report. Well, okay, maybe B won't be so happy that she got to uh that she got to fly the or lead this mission because 
Hot dang. Oh, looks like damage by unknown. <laughs> unknown being of the ground itself. There was a, looks like there was a Fokker E3 out there, but it, uh, I don't know what happened to it. Did it, like, crash and die on its own? Man, scroll wheel is not my best friend when it comes to this map here. Scroll down. Eh, 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 eh. Where'd it go? Ah, whatever, not important. Debriefing complete. What the? When did that happen? What? I was like following the whole time and I didn't see nothing. And Deribu sneaks in a kill. How is that even possible? He's a wizard. Like, he always has been, but... I don't know. Confirmed. Now, he's a wizard. Alright, fine. Finish. Be that way. Deribu, you jerk. With your two victories. It's dumb. I don't even like that. I'm actually kind of kidding. <laughs> I'm way surprised at that whole thing. Alright, well that was interesting. Apparently there was one Fokker E3 up there, and apparently it's now dead, thanks to the hand of Darabu. Jerk. Then I guess that concludes episode 3? At least we're still alive. We'll take that. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. So, hopefully I can see everybody again next time for episode 4, which will exist, seeing as, you know, we're still alive. So, see everyone next time.